Hi guys, welcome to the channel Practical Reefer. My name's Mark. Now, what we're looking at here is a Copapod Hotel. So I met up with a few other reefers on Saturday at a Nessie's Lair, which is my local shop. And one of them was kind enough to give me this Copapod Hotel, which came with Copapods, Amphipods, uh, Micro Brittle Stars, Bristle Worms, which was the main reason for asking for it. Um, also, there's potentially some isopods in there. There will also be some baby serath snails and there was a dove snail as well which I, uh, I got from the chap so it's very kind of him to give me this so I need to get this returned or uh, replace it sometime soon what also happened, um, excuse the lights I've turned them down so the blues are, are very low um, just so we can film now what the dove snails also done since it's been added in the, the last few days it's actually laid two um, little pockets of eggs there there's also another one a bit higher, which is quite hard to focus on with it being just on the main glass. So I've got two, well, three lots of dove snail eggs there. There's probably some more. Um, what I'll also say is most of what you're about to see was filmed very late on the Saturday night. Um, it's taken me a few days to get this all together because I've not been very well after my, my second COVID jab, but that's me fully vaccinated now. But the video does go on a little bit longer because I'm kind of, uh, it's a bit of a running gun or a, a one shot take um, just to, obviously I've got one hand in the water and one hand filming just to try and show you what's uh, what's come in this box. So we'll have a look at it just now and I'll let you see what I've um, got in the tank. My other cleanup crew which I've added, which I got from a, a fellow reefer, Robert, um, fixed in Glasgow way, um, is most people's worst nightmare. Um, I asked him if he could get me some bristle worms. Now. I've had them before, I had no issue with them, um, a lot of people think they're quite, you know, people don't like them because maybe they're like snakes and worms and people don't like that sort of stuff, but your garden would be absolutely useless without worms in it. Um, not saying your reef would be useless without bristle worms in it, but you know, um, they have benefits. Um, they're very, very hardy, they aerate the, the substrate, um, they'll go deep into your live rock and clean out things, they're scavengers and detritivores. Um, they'll go after all the crap in your tank and they'll, they'll eat just about anything. Some people are like, oh, they've killed fish or they've killed that. They, they don't kill things, they, they scavenge, um, is, is how I see it anyway. And, um, they do, the population will grow, um, however, they will breed based on food availability. So if you feed your tank really, really heavy, you could end up with a massive population of them. And when the lights go off at night, if you come on with a red torch or have your moon lights on, you'll, you'll see loads of them. Um, I've seen pictures of tanks crawling with them, but again, that could be based on overfeeding um, or heavily overfeeding, and then you're going to get population blooms of things like that. So, um, you know, if you're feeding reasonably, they're not going to get out of control. They can't breed and reproduce massively if there's not enough food for them. Um, what I've also got in here, which I can't quite see at the moment, um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, I'm getting focus. So there's a, a bristle worm sticking out the corner there. Let me just focus so there's one sticking out the corner so this is a pod hotel that i've been borrowed there's another one sticking out the corner there it's also given a there's a dove snail in there i think there might be some babies as well um so that's cool i'm just trying to see there was a couple of um oh there's one there a micro brittle star oh, which is again i'll just get the focus which is i'm messing with the settings by accident there we go uh, which is in the tub there in the corner, you'll struggle to see it. So this is a little uh, pod hotel. What I've also got in here from the chat was mycidae shrimp, which is the, kind of like a copepod, amph amphipod, um, and isopods, um, good ones apparently. Um, if you search isopods, you'll often get the picture of the one that's clamped onto the fish's tongue, and it basically it's like a parasite that just feeds off the fish's blood. And, um, but that's the massive, um, they're more for like bigger sort of sea fish, but there are good isopods that you get as well. So hopefully I've got them in here. There's uh, no guarantee. Um, however, you know, this little pod hotel is absolutely ram full of stuff. So taking a bit of a leap of faith and, and for me, I like that sort of stuff. I love all the life in the tank. I like bristle worms and uh, micro brittle stars. They're starting to spread throughout the tank. I know I've got a few in this structure, that one. Um, there's a couple in this piece of rock here and I've popped a bit of rock over onto this big structure hoping that cut some of the bristle stars will make their way because I've never seen any on this main structure apart from actually just below the the uh, green hair uh, oh green, uh, green bush algae or something like that I can't remember the name of it right now so there is bristle stars kind of on there but I'm hoping some more will make their way over there is possibly a stomatella snail 
um, babies in here, which would be fantastic because I've got a stone of tell snail, which is I can see just now. And that was spawning the other day, so if I have extra ones of those. Again, with the snails, if you know if they're gonna breed in the tank, they're never gonna overpopulate your tank if there's not enough food. So that's another thought as well. So um I'll film this, I'll pop it in. Um it's the stuff of nightmares for a lot of people, but for me I think it's just a great extra part of the cleanup crew. Um and I think uh, my kind of phrase with this tank is anything goes in the nano. Um, I think that's going to be my new phrase because that's what I've been saying to people. Um, they think I'm a bit of a madman, but I, I think they're great. They're great cleanup crew. They'll, they'll eat anything, they'll scavenge. Um, I don't think they're, uh, they're not going to cause me any issues. Um, but yeah, going for it. I've had them before. They didn't cause me any issues. They didn't kill anything. They just ate things and came out at night and, and ate all the stuff in the, the substrate and the live rock. So popping these in. I don't think I've got anything else to say about those. You can go online as well and look. I mean, they're really, really hardy, great cl cl cleanup crew, but some people just don't like them. They don't like worms. They don't like snakes. Um, and, you know, they're not pretty. <laughs> they're not, uh, uh, they're not the prettiest creatures, but um, they do what they do. It's part of the ecosystem to me. And uh, so we'll get these chucked in. I'll try and get a bit of footage of them. I'm just going to pop the, the Copa Bot Hotel in and then I'll pop the lights off shortly after and hopefully like all the pods and things that are in here aren't going to end up as a meal for all my fish that are in there. So I'll get these in, I'll try and get a little bit of footage of it and uh, we'll see how we go in the next couple of days. So guys, I'm just out of shot here. Um, this is kind of the moment of truth. I've turned my blues down a little bit so you can see a bit better. And if you hear any snorting or grunting noises, it's my 11 week old puppy going to town on an old polo top because uh, I brought her upstairs for a bit of company while I'm doing this. Bella, come here. No, come on. Bella, give me a monster. <clears throat> so if you hear any noises, it's this going wild. Um, she's pulling at ethernet cables and bits of wood and she's found all sorts in the room. I've had to get everything off the floor. So this is the monster that you'll hear snorting about. Um, nah, but she's great really. She's just wild. Um, so off you go and eat that top. Um, that's not normally the case. Um, I'm trying to be very, very strict with her, not being on sofas and stuff. And then I'll get the, you know, in future if I want her to do things like that, then I can ask her up. But I want to be able to have her like well trained. You leave those cables alone. Go and eat that top. Um, so here's the the pod hotel that I've been given. I don't know if you'll see just there. Um, there's a couple of worms sticking out. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the pod hotel in whole. Um, and obviously keep all the bugs in it and things and that that's the plan so I'll get the lids off of here I've put so I'll be putting some water in to be fair a lot of this sort of life on here is pretty resilient um, you're gonna struggle to kill it um, and there goes the dog trying to eat something it shouldn't do a lot of sofa that it shouldn't be on um, we'll deal with that in a minute so pop it in it's gonna be a bit of detritus in there but it is what it is um, Let's have a look. I'm not really wanting to grab it, although let's have... She's fighting with the pillows. So this just has holes on the corners. I'm just going to take it out like that so you'll be able to see and a hole in the middle, so I'll be okay grabbing it here. There's a tiny, tiny little snail that looks conical. Um, I'll leave that there. But what I'll do is I'll pop this in. I can see bristle worms, some massive copepods. I'm going to get the camera off the tripod just now. Two seconds. So here we go, guys. There's one of the massive copepods that have been very... Eh, copepods, amphipods, sorry. And there's also one of the bristle worms. I'm just wary I'm not watching my fingers. Um, there was a bristle, oh that is a bristle worm that you'll see. Maybe see it from the other side a bit better. Oh, here it comes. There's one of the big amphipods. Um, that looks like a bristle star, just, or a mini brittle star. Micro brittle star, sorry. That's off um, into the water, so that's great. That's a bit um, unrelated. There's a bristle worm sticking out there. I um, thought I felt someone touching their finger. I was having a wee mini freak out in my head that is one of the little tiny snails let me get the focus i'll never get the focus apparently 
the little snail there. I think that's probably a dove snail baby. There is a dove snail in the tub as well. So I'm just going to pop this in and I mean that's that massive amphipod. Just going to find a section of the sand bed which is probably going to be bang in the middle of the tank here. So it's going to be, oh there we go there as well. There's a big micro brittle star with some really nice colours actually. It's got a mix of red and grey. I can't get too close so the focus goes. Nice bit of red and grey. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Now, some people think this is madness. Um, I love all this sort of stuff. And a fellow reefer was really, really kind to, to give me this. So I'm going to pop that in there. Um, he did suggest that I mail him back the pod hotel at some point. Although he might get a brand new one off of Amazon um, to save me postage. And we'll both have a pod hotel at the end of it. As long as I can find the same one for him. I don't want to be having losing out at all but we'll see what see what I can manage if not you'll get this back but um oh, I'll pop that there I can't get, quite get it down on the sand bed but I think we'll be okay I don't know if we'll find a better wee spot for it I might move this over slightly this is not really entertaining to watch saying that me struggling might be entertaining for some um and then also excuse the focus there's a little dove snail at the bottom Let's see if we just pop this up against the... So that's the, the dove snail there. Um, and... I don't know if there's anything else in that little bit of rubble. Let's just pop it down to the front, see what... There's another amphipod off swimming away. That's, I kind of missed that. I currently have a puppy off loose in my house because I didn't shut the door properly before I started filming this. So she's away, so that'll be fun, playing hide and seek with a puppy today. Um, and there's the dove snail, so fantastic. So I'm quite happy with that, and you can see the, oh she's back, good girl. Um, although she might have left me a present in another room, um, she's not normally upstairs. And that's the dove snail, I'll sort that in a minute, but we'll come back and we'll have a wee look in a second. So guys, back again, the puppy is gone. Um, here's the little dove snail, which was, again, gifted by Robert. I thought it was an Asarius, because it has the little kind of um, proboscis, proboscis, um, the little antenna a little bit as well when it's just uh, diving about, but looking pretty cool. And there was half a dozen, you'll see one of them on there, which I think is a baby Sereth. Oh no. Okay, Peppermint's, he's behaving. I thought that I thought that Sarah the snail was about to go. Um, uh, he's checking it out though. He's looking for stuff. Um, it's quite late for the lights to be on, so the peppermint's out um, out of his usual usual habit. Um, normally, I'll wait till it's the lights are off, but these lights have been on a lot later than normal. So yeah, got a little dove snail there. Um, also got probably about half a dozen of the little baby Sarah snails. Some of them are on the inside of the the jug, the clear jug that I had to I just kind of knocked them off with the toothbrush and I've poured them into the tank so they'll be kicking about in here so some uh, new seraphs that I've got I've got quite a few of those already there's, uh, there's plenty in the tank doing what they do um, now I mean this is nothing I don't really um, everything on my channel I, I buy myself and then you know if I like it I like it if not I'll you know say but so this is what I was given by the other uh, chap, Robert. It's a uh, it's actually from ReefGeeks.co.uk, and I think they call it the Copepod Hotel, is what it's called. Um, I didn't quite read it properly when I was putting it in because I was busy trying not to get bristle worms on my fingers. So that's a little thing. That basically, it just has little holes in the corners and then a big hole in the the center um, to let everything get inside it. So that's pretty cool. So happy with that. I'm sure lots of the stuff will come out of the bottom corner there into the sand bed. And the same at the top there, they'll, they'll drop out into the rock work. And so this is kind of dead centre of my tank. So as I say, bristle worms, um, if you overfeed, you could end up with too many of them and you might consider them a pest. They're very resilient. They're really good cleanup crew. Um, I've also got some nice uh, micro brittle stars from Robert there and uh, all sorts. So And there was some big old, uh, old copepods, uh, sorry, amphipods that you saw there. Um, and there's lots of, uh, there'll be lots of copepods in there, no doubt, as well. And he was also saying he has uh, isopods. Now, that little Sereth's uh, going on a journey. It is alive, so um, it was it was a couple of centimetres away from that edge a minute ago. So, some extra snails there, so that's really cool. 
Um, really happy with that. And there's some big old amphipods, which is something I, I really, really like. And I do have amphipods in my tank. Let me just see where I'm zooming there. There's the husk of one there, bang in the middle of the screen. And I had one kicking about. That zoomed in, sorry. Uh, there was one kicking about in there that I saw earlier as well. So mines are in there, they're breeding. And when I cleaned up this rack, I saw lots of amphipods as well, that they were like in between the frag plot plug and the rack so they were they're in that little gap and hiding in there and I, I see them coming out one little thing um i'm gonna ask tonight is i think this might be the spaghetti worms something's been building a little uh a little tube oh there's the dove snail that's why i thought it was an astarius at first when i saw it so something's been building a little tube uh home there at the sand and a, a nice bit now i gravel this quite a lot so if they're building any tubes in there they'll just get destroyed every couple of weeks but this one here just under the rock looks quite cool i've not seen anything coming out in the last couple of hours so um i'm thinking spaghetti worms is possibly what that is which i was quite happy i, I knew i added them into the tank at one point with some corals um let me know what you think of that i'm pretty sure that what that's going to be but yeah more uh more cool life going in there I'll get the lights off and the, I'm sure the bristle worms will start coming out once uh, once the lights are off and, and doing what they do. I think I did see a tiny one in my tank last week that maybe came in on, on something previously or possibly like this bit of rock um, that got added. So there may be some other ones in there, but there was only a couple of tiny ones, a couple of chunky uh, chunky worms in there. So I'm happy with that. Once they breed and there's uh, smaller ones into the, the tank, they'll get into all the rock work and uh, I'm zoomed in again. They'll get into all the rock work and the, all the little crevices and they'll go hunting for all the detritus that's in the tank. Excuse that, Zoe, there. I'm going to uh, deal with that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that. Really, really nice from uh, the other reefer to give me their little Copapod Hotel. And I'll, I'll get that back to them um, or give them or replace it for them. We'll see. But um, really, really happy with that. I love all the little bits of life in the tank. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that over the next couple of months. Probably get a, a red... Um, nighttime viewing torch or some moonlights or something like that in the tank and i'll be able to come and view um all that life later at night so really really happy with that and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video guys give me a little comment below do you do you like these sort of things like uh, bristle worms i know it's not everyone's taste but give me a little comment below give me a, a like and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you all next time